What's going on, YouTube? I'm back again. Finally, spring break is here. I'm probably going to be uploading a couple times this week and next week. Uh, just because I have so much more free time. Uh, I'm only going to be working part-time just because my employer is uh, Jewish, so they have Passover, etc. So I'm going to have a lot of free time, guys. <laughs> Uh, I might even do a couple of stream days, but we'll get to that later. Um, as you guys know, uh, two weekends ago, or was it two weekends at this point? Uh, I'm sorry, last weekend, we had signups for Treasure Cup, and it was god-awful horrendous. Please, please stop using uh, Beast Coast pairings. They suck ass. Um, and Bandai, fuck you, man. <laughs> Make more tournaments. Spread the love. Let other people host... Show more support so that they can actually do shit. Uh, 512 players is hot garbage. I mean, they're selling out in seconds. It's not enough. We have more players than they you guys can imagine that want to play and compete. Let the community grow. I mean, product is already fucking us in the ass right now. Um, it's been a real big barrier for some people who just want to collect or, you know, play casually. And it's turning people away. So, like, how are you supposed to grow your community if you're cutting them off supply and then you're also screwing the people who want to compete? And, you know, we need more love spread out. I understand, you know, America is one country, but it's fucking huge. I can't fly to California, Texas, and Florida. I'm not megabucks. <laughs> um, so I would love to see more things. And with that... Uh, Max from the Moon Men TCG guys has finally announced, uh, he was talking about it on the Facebook group, uh, that he is going to hold a big tournament. Uh, first place will get a Manga Ace, which is amazing. Uh, I'm assuming this comes from his store, his personal collection, so guys, mind you, it may not be a cash prizing type of situation, but like, this is coming from a guy who wants to see the community grow, so we definitely need more people like him to do these types of things all around the country so that more places can play. So thank you so much, Max. I really appreciate you for this. I'm going to do my best to try and make it out there. It's going to be April 29th, as you can see on the screen. A lot of cool prizing. Second, we'll get a Nami. Again, Nami's not a cheap card. Uh, $250 for this card, I believe still. Ace is, what, 500 to 700 something like that. I, don't, I haven't followed the prices in a while. Um, and just a lot of cool things, man. Like, giving away starter decks, I believe that's a super pre-release one, too. I, I might be mistaken. But, like, even even so, like, this is amazing. Um, even if it isn't. Just so that, again, more people can have access to product. Like, if I was one of these fifth or sixth places, guys, I would just give it to, like, a newbie or something like that. I'm not greedy. <laughs> um, do I sell my prizing sometimes? Yeah, but like something like this, I think just deserves to be in the hands of the community. Hopefully, you know, people don't scalp. Um, these really cool Kaizuku cards that um, are being made solely for this event. I mean, look at this Zoro, guys. This is when he cuts Monet in half. This is sick. Um, I personally wish it was the one where he does... Um, I forgot who he does it to. I think he does it to Killer. Where he does the Death Lion song. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but either way, uh, this is super amazing. There's a winner one. Again, just really awesome prizing for this event. Go check it out. It is going to be a drive for me, for sure. Uh, but if you are in the Northeast and can make it, go hop on down. I think he said 128. 128 players, correct. Um, and in other news of the tournament scene we have ceo i'm a fighting game head from back in the day guys i played street fighter street fighter 2 i had an arcade cabinet that's just another thing about me i'm a huge fighting game weeb um and ceo one of the guys on the tournaments uh circuits that are huge is actually holding a one piece card game tournament for five thousand dollars in prizing i believe first gets 1680 um which is still a good amount guys like this is the first big cash prizing tournament i've seen for the game i know we've had a couple of 1ks but again just being able to see more of these types of things pop up in more locations again this is in florida florida's popping off of plenty of events as it is but uh if bandai isn't going to help us do these types of things then i'm glad more people are stepping up to do this uh just so you know though this is 50 dollars entry 
and you do have to pay for the CEO ticket. Um, I believe it's like 30 bucks uh, just for like a one day spectator pass. Um, and if you're playing in the fighting game tournament, you get knocked out early. Hey, just pop on over. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a really cool like combination. This is, I love fighting games, so it's is awesome to see both communities like coming together in a sense. So I love it. Um, that's it for this. I really hope we see more, and I hope Bandai picks up the pace sooner than later before they shoot themselves in the foot and shrink our community. Um, Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> I'm bringing out Stagebeard. Why? So, I've gotten this question, is Stagebeard just worse than Strawbeard? In a vacuum, sure. I can see the argument. However, again, these... This is why we have thing called meta. <laughs> so what happened in JP, Strawbeard picked up in popularity very quickly once people started realizing, oh shit, this is not a meme. I was calling it Jankbeard because I was like, there's no way this fucking shit works. It does, boy. And what happened was, what was the secret sauce that helped people beat Stagebeard? I mean, Strawbeard, sorry. Stage. You completely shit on that mirror quote unquote of like it's a leader mirror but the, the match is so different play from both sides um because of this uh the boogeyman of set three um that hasn't really taken off uh in this meta because again it took it takes time for metas to develop and people to realize how things work um and stage completely trumps strawbeard is it a little RNG dependent? Yes, but you also still have a couple tools that they don't have access to in removal effect. Um, being able to answer their fat boys and they kind of have to just look at yours. So even if you don't hit the stage all the time, you have answers. You're still playing up to the same top end characters and Marco is a decent tool in the matchup as well. Just being able to help you defend your lethal blows uh, but again, the extra removal effect. I'm really looking at Squard here just because he is a perfect answer to both King Du, Atmos, and obviously the four cost Melos. So, amazing card there. Um, I'm playing something a little different. I am trying the Mass Deuce. Uh, this was something that uh, Max of the Moonman guys was testing out early. He was testing out, I think, like three and two and something very similar um and it's helpful against law law is not a bad deck guys do not sleep on that deck you will get washed um but stage beard is another deck that has just a decent matchup against it in my opinion much better than Strawbeard. um for the law players who are adapting to the meta um and you still have I mean, like I said, it is the Kaido of this metagame, of where it's like, you hit the stage, you don't hit the stage, it's very different games against other decks. Against Zoro, it can feel pretty okay, actually, just because you have this, this, Seaquake, and you still have thick boys in the middle to help you get there. Uh, nine drop on the play is really strong. Um, I think I'd still probably elect to go second in that matchup, but again, having nine drop against Zero to invalidate all the one drops is really big. Um, and then again, this Marco blocker is actually really strong. Just having a thick blocker that doesn't die a lot of the times is just really good. And then finally, what is our other matchup that we're expecting? Obviously black. Against black, you have Marco. I actually would rather see the Marco before I see the stage. Knowing that I have the Marco to kind of just like fight through all that removal is okay if they try swinging on it a couple times i might defend it once and then let it go uh, but just being able to soak up a couple of hits while you're playing to your actual end game here or if you're able to stick your stage later and then keep atmos or king do or something like that on the board because that's all it takes guys it's your leader swinging every turn and then you sticking one or two of these guys and having that added pressure and then stage just helps you finish the game um again squad shines in that matchup because it lets you kill almost everything that literally is in borsalino but again borsalino is blocking 90 percent of the time he's not going to be doing damage to you 
Uh, the smoker three drop is a little annoying, um, but not the end of the world just because once they turn it sideways once, it's kind of dead. Um, I think that's all I have to say about your matchups. Z is a little more annoying than smoker just because he has a lot more removal on hand. So it could be hard to stick anything um, that isn't like Ace or Whitebeard later. So, but again, going second in both those black matchups literally wins you the game most of the time, especially if you hit the stage on, on curve, just because they have to play such awkward curve, like they, they're not doing anything. And if all they're doing is donning up and attacking you, it's fine. This isn't a red mirror where it's like, oh, I gotta stay at two life to play my nine drop. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Take the hits. Don't waste your hand. There's nothing to blow your load on early and just win win the long game there. Against Kinemon, it is awkward. I have said that I don't like Strawbeard into Kinney. Uh, good Kinemon players. Um, just because once they stick Odin, you lose. <laughs> Once Odin gets to untap and attack you, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, and then having these Marco blockers um, is actually pretty useful. Like, yes, they have Okiku, but you have 7 billion ways to kill her. Um, that Strup your doesn't. And then just having this blocker stay around to stop the Odin attacks from destroying your day wins the game. Uh... So those are all your matchups. This is like a 90-10 if Strawbeard uh, doesn't have like a nutty hand and even then like I said it just takes two characters to win that matchup especially if you have stage so this is what I think is an anti-meta pick I think it's enough time stage beard is back on the menu uh, I think a couple of tournaments have already been won by stage beard just because again everybody's hopped on this, the straw beard train I've been a proponent of beard of all flavors for a while um, and Strawbeard is kind of like the boogeyman more than Zoro, surprisingly. Um, just red everywhere. So if you want to anti-meta yourself, just play the stage variant and you probably will do well. So that's it for my explanation. Let's hop into some games. Alright, we got another game. It's a Kinemon. That's not how we want to start a game, guys. This is okay. And then my hand significantly got worse. <laughs> so let's attack for seven here. Pass. We can curve nine on him. Nine is actually surprisingly strong into green. Uh, this is annoying. I hate wasting swings. If it was Bonnie, I would let him do it. I have no problem letting him keep Bonnie as alive. This is annoying though. Promo Yamato. I don't like that card. So like this, I don't care. Like I said, you can have that all day. This, unfortunately, I have to kill. Um, it feels real bad, but I have to answer it. I don't know why he's playing promo Yamato. I guess it has more... I, the more Yamatos you play, you have more synergy with Toki, I suppose, but you're adding more non-counter cards, like, because I'm assuming you're still playing 4-drop. So, like, that's, that's, like, a feels bad. Okay. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> I need cards with stats. Um... I think this is okay. attempt to clear this by taking multiple cards from him. This is an obvious Paradise Waterfall. I'm at 2k now. Oh, three cards is good. Three cards is better. <laughs> That's spectacular. Um, he's going to tap it down X Drake anyway, so no point in giving him the value. I'll just play my 7k and let him go. And the next turn, we have 9. I just have to get to 9. 
That's all I care about right now. You got it. You never fight that. Uh, he cannot Odin because this Bonnie is there, so... I don't really care what he plays. Blockers would be annoying. Seven drop kid would be annoying. Um, but not the end of the world. I can just squard hit with Whitebeard. Um, this is awkward, but I think I do it anyway. Uh, if you waste a punk Gibson, that's okay. Oh, you can actually, I forgot I, <laughs> I forgot I had stage. Um, so let's just play this bad boy. Go like this. Pass. So this would be the turn that Odin comes down. But I do have big beefy boys coming at his face here. There's Law. Law's whatever. I've always been on the fence of adding nine drop to stage. It's just, it's really just deck space. That's what makes this so hard. <laughs> is deck space in this deck? Because I would love to have more access to like cheat blocker, um, squad and sea quick also fight for slots in the deck. It's just really annoying. It takes a big investment to hit, for him to try and push lethal this turn, so he's going to be kind of sag when I squad see quick here and then kill kill these guys. Like you can't even pressure here because of like you want to do this and then attach your down here. The fuck are these cards, bro? <laughs> Killing me right now here. Killing me, Smalls. Um, I think we just pop there. Attack for 14. Um, Marco's four. I need two up. So I have two Dawn to play with this turn. Yeah, why not? Attack nine. Still two cards out of the hand. That's a block. That's a Marco. Thank God I had a counter stat and not more of the shitty ass boat. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. Anytime he did, he fucked up. He needed to use his ability. I think he realized that after he's just playing too quickly because he's like, oh, I'm gonna win the game. <laughs> um, this easy counter out. Or it would have been if I. I still had fucking anything but boat in my hand. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> uh, not the greatest. Uh, so we got a game into Kinney. I've already played the first one. Unfortunately, I had four cards, but no counter. Two being boat after I already had the first boat, so 
Sag. Uh, this might be one of those games where I have to just deploy uh, Squirt. I don't like wasting turns, so that's why we do it. A lot of people would be like, no, you hold it till later. I have no Seaquake and no Vista. I have no reason to just hold cards. I'd rather take the card draw, uh, especially because I have no boat. I have no nine drop to lean on uh, at the moment, so that's how you navigate these mid games. I still don't like this promo Yamato that he's just playing around with. Um, I think you just attack for four, deploy a blocker or something. Again, I have nothing in sight that makes this worth it. That, it's, okay. Attack six. Um, we'll attack for seven here. And not waste anything on that. I gotta put the pressure out the face. Uh, because he has six available, I don't think it's worth fighting for, just because x is a card. Um, we don't know if he has it, but he has like nine cards in hand, so highly likely. So, um, if you didn't know, x just completely overtakes Killer. I don't, I've seen it, I don't think it's worth it at all. Do not play Killer in your deck. It does nothing. Uh, just play x which is a better body for you. Especially when Stage Beard is a deck. Uh, you'd rather have that than a dead killer in your hand. Oh, but it's a 1k counter, so it was a sex trick. <laughs> Literally all the same arguments. Um, it was mega annoying. Um, Throw five at the Bonnie, or three at the Bonnie. That's fine. Like I said, I don't care about this card. I just wanted to see how he would react to it. So let's attack here. I'll play you instead. I'd rather wait to kill this. go like one Don, play X Drake. That's six. I'll use two left over. Uh, so the reason why I let this live 100% of the time over something like um, Momo is because none of her fetches are good. Like, they don't matter. This is the best fetch and it's only slightly okay. Um, kill this because my Marco can't be played yet and I still have plenty of defense I don't care if you 10 up go extra try and kill me it doesn't work interesting there's Odin here Um, this is why I wanted Marco. So let's kill this. Pass. Still not looking great, uh, but doable. If he ignores the board, I win. That's fine. Discard this. So I go like this.
Always to spite me do I draw the second one. <laughs> um, let's hope I don't hit a random... A random Punk Gibson off the life. Six into four, six into six. Like I said, I just don't want to die into anything stupid here, so that's why I defended last turn, even though I really wanted to turn my boat on. Yep. So now I have boat. And even if he slimes, slams down nine, that taps him out from any defensive event counters, and he's blown four 2k counters. He's definitely running at least, uh, like, I would say 14 to 16. I've seen this build already. I think this is a German build. I think, anyway. I could be wrong. But they are running, like, a hybrid-ish type of thing. That's fine. Uh, so he's trying to counter out here or trade board. This is weird play. Yeah, he lost Because <laughs> I'm just gonna 1k out and then I still have plenty of counter in hand Yeah, this is why this matchup is horrendous granted. This is a different build. This is actually not bad guys by the way I've been testing this out on my test account um, but this Like hybrid ish build is not bad it's good in the mirror because you're running Marco. Um, you still have all the same tools. You're still playing vanilla four drops, 2k counters. Uh, but you're also running Marco, which is a really sweet tech. Um, it's part of the reason why Stage Beard just shits on Straw. Uh, it's just Marco plus Stage. And then just... I make every turn that you tap out horrendous for you. Because I, I don't care about my life as much. So that's that. Uh, I think we have a game with the Strawbeard. Yeah, it has to be Strawbeard. Um, blue a Sanji 2k counter. No trigger. And, you know, another 2k counter early. So again, this is why we win. Because they're... They're so fucking brain dead, man. <laughs> uh, let's try and slam 9 drop. That's the only way out of the game. And it's really not. Like, you have better cards, but it is what it is. Unless this is the mirror. It's hard to tell. Actually, no. We wouldn't be playing Machina, so I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's fine, bro. I'm not you. Let me just turn sideways. Sideways. Play Marco pass. The only thing that sucks is not drawing my boat. If I get boat, this is instant win. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know what he's playing. Uh, you can kill my King Dew. Decides to ignore it. That's fine. That's a 1k. Interesting play. I'm going from 7 to 9, right? But just in case he is playing Luffy, uh, I'm not going to rely on my white beard here. 
That's a massive pickup that could potentially win me the game right now. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna rely on my two kill counters, my two event counters in hand, and just try and trade it out here. And then next turn, boat wins the whole game. I don't know what event he could have. Unless he has, like I said, he could be on boat. I could be fucking wrong as hell. That's another one. Uh, he has another ace in hand. That's fine. This should eat another 2k. Alright, what the fuck? Yeah, this is like some amalgamation of a white beard deck, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm not relying on my my top end right now. This is not how I'm winning this game. I'm just gonna play this boat. Now, magically, all my numbers are good. <laughs> so let's swing. 12. Let's make him eat more counter. I would go for it, but I don't want to be too greedy here and lose the game. But this is a 12k swing, but it, it's hard to say. He only he used one, two, three, four, five 2k counters already. What are the odds that he still has two more plus a 1k? Granted, he has dumped. He has one ace in hand that we know of, so it's really two, two, and a one. That I'm like I have to really contemplate here. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it safe. I'm, I'm gonna attack for ten. He didn't even have it. Woof. Uh, possible rematch. I really just want to know if it's struggled. <laughs> Literally, I want to play it again against his weird deck. Just so I know if it's draw. Because this is confusing. That's fine. Again, I'm not concerned with my life. Because I'm not trying to lose the game. <laughs> uh, I still baited the 2k counter, which is nice. I forgot I had an extra dawn that turn. That's two two Ks out the way. He vistas my vista, which is what you want to do all the time. Um, honestly, I don't even need to. I just let's do it. Uh, this is going to be good in case he aces here. Then go shard, shard squared into Marco and then hold a event counter. And I still have plenty of 2k in my hand. I don't know if he just tried to stuff more 2k counter in and he's just regular stage beard. I'm really unsure myself. That's fine. I uh, don't need it. That'll just be Marco food. It's fine, that'll get a 1k. I'm gonna trade here. I can't tap out, unfortunately. Just cause, again, I don't know what he's playing. He could be playing Luffy in this weird build. got 10 cards in him uh, again nine drop does nothing I actually would like it if he nine dropped here perfect um, I get to recycle a boat here and 
just put massive amounts of pressure. Uh, the question is, can I nine my my own? I mean, he has shown me Otama already in the last game, so you get Otama clear attack me for twenty to the face. <laughs> I don't have that much of an counter. I mean, a regular counter in hand. So I'm just gonna play it safe. We're gonna attack for. I'm gonna develop a body, but I'm, I'm gonna leave at least three down up. So go attack for 12 make him eat up a lot or just take the damage and then again just attack for 12 I think you take the damage buddy don't just throw your hand away thank you and now we pass so if he 9 drops again, it's not safe. Alright, he punted. <laughs> this is easy counter territory. That is a no, my friend. You it cannot have him. That's an easy block. i give you my 9 drops. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Um, so again, we'll attack for 12. He would have to use, yep. And now I would say I'm pretty safe to just all in him here. And then I'll leave one Don up for an AK swing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got a game into smoke. Um, decent hand, hoping to draw into some sort of gas. I might deploy this Jozu. Uh, just have a body on board. Uh, all he can do is attack, which 100% take. Oh, there's my body. So let's attack back. So he can go attach one Kobe, um, and I'm okay with that because that's two cards out of hand. Attack for seven. Uh, because I have no white beard, I'll take. I'm not gonna try and hold off blocking so early when I have nothing. Uh, I kind of want to hold this for when he plays Sakazuki. So we'll just attack seven. Um, deploy the Jozu and then hold. And I can go squared Vista on Sakazuki. He checks those two cards to kill Jozu, it's whatever. <clears throat> Right now, my hand's kind of puttering out. Uh, he's still not at 10 yet. If he was at going to be at 10, this would be more threatening. I'm probably still going to kill it anyway, now that I have the C-Quick, just so I can have more bodies. I'm going to hold off on the ace. And just, like I said, develop this guy. And no rush. Nice of you to show up. <laughs> uh, Ace will let me clear board. And I still have C-Quake. Like, I have options next turn. Again, no, no 10 means no big Kuzan, so I'm not really too worried right now. The only thing that would make my hand better would probably just be Marco. That's fine. No point in defending. It's too low cost. That's a problem. That might eat my removal this turn. 
So I'll go like ace this, clear this, and then go base. I think that's the play. Uh, we'll check this guy. Okay. So like I said, we'll go that. We'll attack eight into four. So the only thing I could have done was attack first with those. Uh, that was slightly slower. I, I could have taken an extra card from him there. So we'll do this. Still kill that guy though. That's all his suitors <laughs> and a Garp. So he's down quite a few 2Ks and a Shockwave. Um, he goes 14 right after. Probably just dead. I'm just gonna hold shock with him. Marco off the top. <laughs> Marco ensures that he needs to have another Kobe or Sakazuki, which would be a big Don investment. I mean, that can survive. All right, there we go. Um, just to make my life easier, we're gonna go like this. No shot, he defends. I'm just trying to take all his options over here. Sorry about that. Next turn, I'm 100% guaranteed to kill. Sorry, I started again. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's dead. Go nine. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. Um, I'm still on spring break for another week, so I'm going to try and pump out a, a little more action for you guys, some stuff to watch. Maybe I'll do like, you know, a meme series this week and I'll focus on the poopy decks that don't get play. Or, you know, only are willing, winning locals and like, oh my god, they're so good. They're really not. Uh, that, <laughs> that would include Dofi, um... Red, green, Luffy, and maybe blue, green, Sanji. Even though I really dislike playing that deck, it just feels so bad. <laughs> uh, but I'll try messing around with those decks and like uploading some videos. That we could have like a chill, relaxed weekend. Um, but yeah, guys, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you are in the Northeast, please go check out um, the Moonman Guys tournament and you know just keep supporting the game, keep trying to make it grow, guys. But with that said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.